Thank you everyone for joining us today. We're talking about issues and Congressional Third District and moving forward. I'm beyond humble to be invited here to speak about my values and what I envision for Oregon Third District and our nation. Uh, first, I wanna say congratulations to Xavier on, on all his success. You're a true role model for everyone, but also go Ducks, respectfully. <laughs> my, ever since I started running, I always wanted to speak from the heart. And I remember watching Barack Obama in 2004 at the Democratic National Convention. I'm like, wow, who's this young character speaking just so powerful? 2012, Julian Castro, another minority speaking at the, at the convention. I'm like, wow, if they can do it, I can do it. I witnessed a lot of things in my life. And I've always asked the question, why are things happening? I've always heard the, the answer, it's always been done that way. Those are the most dangerous words we can use in America, it's always been done that way. I see a lot of problems in Portland. We need a, the next person elected to Congress to revive the city. We see what's happening across downtown, the homeless issues, drugs issues, small businesses closing. We need someone to revive this city for what it used to be, the city of roses. We need to have people believe in our city again to say this is my home. Imagine having progressive values and ideas that we can push forward to the next generation to 20, 30, 40 years. I thank Representative Blumenau for doing a great job. Now I feel my politics, my progressive issues can lead us moving forward. Imagine having Oregon solving a homeless crisis issue that we can solve for America. The homeless crisis issue is not a Portland issue, it's a country issue. Imagine healthcare being more affordable. What I mean by that is eliminating deductibles. Imagine having preventative services free. If you're a healthier person, that lowers the cost of everything. Imagine solving the immigration crisis. A lot of things that we can do, but unless we have a true progressive leader who's passionate about making positive change in the district, in the city, and the country, that's how we'll move forward. Lastly, I wanna say, I wanna thank my mom for actually believing in me. I wasn't the smartest kid growing up. I wasn't bright. I tried hard. I graduated from University of Portland. I graduated from Portland State because I never gave up and I won't give up now. Thank you so much.